So in the overnight session, the breakout above the 2898 to 2900 area signals the buy side in control. So at this point, heading into the open, our short term bias is going to be neutral bullish, while the intermediate and bigger picture bias are going to be neutral and continuing to hold above the 2909 to 2913 pre market support would signal a strong market, which could eventually lead to a move up into 2927 to 2929, as well as the 32 to 37 larger time frame resistance, where sellers can still be active on the day time frame. On the downside, a break below the pre market support zone would bring the 2898 to 2901 initial support into play where buyers can still be active and if this overnight bullishness is going to remain intact then ideally we want to see the buyers holding it above initial support but given the level of strength that we've seen in the overnight session buyers could hold es above even the pre-market support zone and in the event that pre-market support doesn't hold ideally buyers hold it above initial support if this overnight move is going to remain intact on the upside we have pre-market resistance at 1875 to 2075, where sellers have been active so far. A break above that area would bring 27 to 29 into play and 32 to 37, where sellers can be active on first test and on the day time frame. And that 32 to 37 area, as well as 3975 to 4075, has potential to cap the upside on the day time frame because that is a larger time frame area of resistance. It marks the previous balance area high. And if this recent strength continues, then maybe eventually that area can get taken out. But the probability of the market taking out is relatively low, at least today. So the market would be short term exhausted and quite overextended into that 32 to 37 larger time frame resistance, which is yet another reason that sellers can be active and defend at the 32 to 37 zone.